The sound is a familiar one. But the site is unfamiliar to most of us. Desolate, uncovered, and exposed. Until now. The rebirth of Joplin is beginning. I also want to thank the community of Tulsa. There's so many volunteers today coming from Tulsa and all across the area. Uh, I want to thank you for being here and what you've done to uh, make a difference in the, in the city of Joplin. The past six months have moved quickly, and so has the progress on the streets of Joplin. In only two weeks, the Tulsa Habitat for Humanity and the Joplin Habitat are partnering to build 10 homes. Three, two, one. As the horn blew, volunteers at all 10 homes lifted one wall, and with that, the Blitz build would begin. This used to look like our uh, Brookside area in Tulsa, kind of older 50s and 60s style houses, a lot of trees. Thousands of Tulsans have spent afternoons in Joplin. One group celebrated a birthday while on the job site. I hope someone will come help us in Tulsa if, if we get hit like this. Dee Gibbs is celebrating her 50th, wearing a hard hat and swinging at the plywood pinata. After what happened in May, she knew she needed to serve. You can't help but be touched and moved by what you see. Uh, the houses, the lack of houses, uh, the trees. I just, you know, think of my own family and what it would be like if they were hit. These Tolsons will volunteer for a day or two, take off their tool belt, and travel back down the turnpike. But some don't get to leave. They grew up here. This is home. It looks like kind of aftermath of a war to me, but um, I don't know. Um, it's just doesn't even look recognizable. This is Jenny, a Joplin resident, a tornado survivor, and a mother of three. Now, she's the recipient of one of the Habitat homes. How has it changed from, I don't know, a week after the tornado to now? A week after the tornado, I was still trying to figure out what I was gonna do because we didn't have a home anymore. And you know, I didn't know. I've never been homeless before. She takes us to her old well, yeah, home, where she and the kids right. rode out the storm. So that's your foundation? Yeah, right that's there. our foundation. Like most other families, they too heard the tornado sirens on May 22nd. Jenny looked outside to see the trampoline being tossed about. She ordered everyone in the home's only bathroom, six kids, two adults, and four dogs. She was the last one in and slammed the door. Probably if I hadn't gotten the bathroom when I did, because everybody else was in there, I may not even be here. I don't know. The rest is a blur. When you opened your eyes, what was the first thing you saw? Um, just pieces of our house laying down around us. And what did you think? I didn't know what to think. I was in shock. I, didn't, I really didn't know what to think. I looked up during the tornado and nothing was there. That's 13-year-old Hunter. He's the middle child and a future skateboarding star. Then there's Jenny's youngest, 12-year-old Hannah, the social butterfly and a real ham. The oldest, the bookworm, who is deathly afraid of storms. Hold on, your name is Stormy. Yeah. <laughs> and you're afraid of storms. Well, not all storms, just tornadoes freak me out. All three of them huddled in the bathroom along with a few friends. Stormy says when they dug out, she went into action, finding their friends' families. Trying to find their parents, but we found most of them. One of his friends lost his, their parents like a block away from us, so and we didn't know until later. My friend Leo found out the news that his mom and dad, stepdad died on his birthday. Found that news out on his birthday. It's been a long six months for Jenny and her kids. We just have to mature better and faster because of this. But they are still kids. Hannah says she lost pieces of her childhood, but her mom found her stuffed unicorn. I was really happy. I sleep with her every night. Stormy says she's sick of crying, so when there's something to celebrate, she's not afraid to show it. I stood on top of part of the house and I did my victory dance. And I said, hey, mom, look at this. And I started dancing and singing. She was like, get down. And I was like, nope, I found my fuzzy socks. And there's even more to celebrate, like moving day in just two weeks. I can't thank everybody enough. But I don't feel like I'm doing enough to let everybody know. 
you know, I appreciate everything. But these days, Tulsa volunteers know that a hammer in hand is worth more than a handshake. Instead of just noticing the devastation, you're actually doing something to help fix it, help make it better. I can imagine. I can imagine. Um, beautiful homes, children playing in the streets, uh, you know, families going to church together on Sundays, um, school buses riding up and down the streets.